Teresa and I are checking test pressings here. Our album, Harbors, will be coming out on the Room 40 label in August. We record each test pressing to check for errors. Ellen here. This is my box bow tool used for playing my instrument percussively. The Living Earth Show will be commissioning me for a new piece to perform together. They're going to play the box bows. When I compose for the box bow, I make recordings that I manipulate and layer. Here's my YouTube video on my working method. I used Soundflower to mix the sound of my voice with the computer audio and was amazed to discover that Soundflower was written by Bay Area musician Matt Ingalls, founder and co-director of SF Sound. Ellen here. I've got the audio. Um, that we just recorded. Um, I sliced a little piece of it that can repeat. I'm going to copy that and retune that chunk of audio with this plugin, Waves Sound Shifter. Slider changes the tuning. but I use this little box to type in decimal intervals. I just uh, typed 0.75, which is the uh, decimal of the perfect fifth tuned down one octave. Okay, so there's that. Let's listen to that. Harmony. Okay, and then I'm going to take this make another copy, and I'm tuning it to the harmonic 7, blue 7, which is 0.875. Okay. And now these little, whoa, something didn't work there. One more time. 0.875. Under it. Okay. Now I can take these little chunks of audio that I call tiles and I can shift them around in time. Um, I'll just do that one. A couple of clicks. This is 
shifting in a grid. So in that way I can really change the character or disguise a rhythmic pattern by layering it and retuning. Uh, this is a more fluid way to test tuning ideas than by actually tuning, retuning the strings on my instrument. Uh, so it's generative, um, it's a process that flows. and then once I um, decide on uh, a sequence that I like, um, I write a score and uh, rehearse it with performers. Uh, I'm looking forward, in this case, uh, to develop a new work for the Living Earth Show to play with me. We hope to uh, premiere this in the Bay Area um, in the future. Um, not sure when, but in the not too distant future, hopefully. Teresa here, and for the past few months, I've been recording a collection of pieces for cello and voice, which use a personal vocabulary I've developed over years. I was originally going to set up in the gym of the Headland Center for the Arts, but when lockdown began, I decided to start working on it in my own studio. I spent about a month just studying different recording techniques and moving mics around inch by inch until I created a configuration that captured the sound I was envisioning. I'm looking forward to sharing this collection of pieces as an album soon, along with scores and writing about the work. Thank mm -hmm. you.